Good day and welcome ladies and gents, uh, we're in our third Kuta Trace, uh, make sure you follow the link below, that's uh, on the first video I did on Kuta Traces, we covered everything here so you can understand why all of this is in front of me and what I need or use to build traces, just uh, the way I build Kuta Traces. Um, but firstly thank you for watching and make sure you subscribe to our channel if you haven't already hit that notification button and please like the video that all helps us to bring you more content on a regular basis content that can bring you results um, or get you better results that's the whole purpose ASFN's now got 32 ambassadors so far and all of them sharing uh, the knowledge we've, we've gathered over the years all right so today what I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a Jayuk Kuta Trace what um, what you'll be using if you want to release a kuta, king mackerel, Spanish mackerel, however they refer to them in the world. One of the very, very popular pelagic species to target. But not everyone targets them to necessarily keep them or eat them. And this trace is more prone for releasing. If you want to release it, you're going to use J hooks. All right, they're scallum fish. So they're quite sly and uh, for that reason, the amount of hooks we use when targeting them. Yo, these hooks are so sharp, they hook each other. Okay, so I'm going to use a hoodlum, size 2. I use hoodlums for the cutter. You can use any hooks, you can use a circle hook. Um, and that's where you're going to hook your bait on. This is a live bait trace. For that reason, I'm not using a weighted. The weighted, as explained in the first video, is for dead bait to keep it upright in the water. You can use them for, for live bait as well, but we're going to do a straight live bait natural. This will be my carrying hook on a live bait, either the, most of the time the top lip of a mackerel or a red eye, sardine or a, a, a big enough a moss bunker that we'll use with that. All right, so, and that will be followed by two J hooks to make sure you get that fish and that's pretty much going to be the length. Okay, first off, what I'll use for this is number five, piano wire, American fishing wire, and I'll be attaching this to the swivels and obviously a number six swivel for the leader. All right, you can go to a seven as well. I like going to a seven. And uh, the A wire twist I'm going to use to attach all these hooks and make all the knots is on the back of the American fishing wire pack. It shows you exactly how to make it. It runs at 45 degrees. You close it off with that uh, nice tight um, binding at the end and then you just twist it off so it's got no tags. Takes a bit of practice, but really not that hard. Okay, so the first one, nice and short. I yes, use this uh, punch, you can use a nail to just make my two loops and that ties a much neater knot as you can see there. Okay, much not neater knot and uh, secures your trace much nicer. Oh, it's under there. I've got quite a few side cutters here. All right, so that I'm going to use for my first little look. Then I attach my carrying hook, mustard hoodlum 2 
This is the Ring Soy Mustard's Favo that I actually use for for in the bait. Took number one. Next length. Then I'll attach my hook. Okay, gents, so there you've got your trace, and now you just add your leader. And for the leader, I just want to put this back. Okay, for the leader, I'm going to use number four. Up to a meter, 1.2 meters. I sometimes use 80 centimeters. And this is the part where you'll add your skirt. And you're going to add a nice small swivel, like a number six power swivel or a number seven. Now, before you do anything, you'll be adding your skirt. A very popular Kingfisher skirt. It's this little shorter white one for the smaller live baits. Look at that. And I'll be adding a small bead orange or the green with this particular skirt. I like the little green one. Okay. And that you'll attach to the carrying hook. Okay. Now this is an example of a much longer leader as well, the one point. 1.3 liter which a lot of guys prefer using and there you have it that's a release friendly uh, cutter trace that if you want should you want to release the fish you can it's also a safer trace uh, for instance on the paddle skis guys I tend to get a lot of bites on this um, and uh, I've used it in St. Lucia and a couple of other places. But on the paddle ski as well, these hooks aren't as prone to get stuck in your foot or your hand by, by accident or chance. So for the guys starting out for kuta fishing, um, not a bad idea to start off with those. And you'll just wrap it up like this, four fingers, the leader, twist it in like that. Okay. And again, the nifty mustard trace bag. I love this bag. Nice, thick, durable plastic. Just stick it in there, zip lock it, and we're done. Okay, that's the release trace using jokes. Now, thank you everybody for watching. Remember to subscribe, remember to like this video, that's really important. And also hit that bell notification, it will have a drop down. You select all if you want notifications on all our videos we upload. Thank you very much for watching and all the best out there in the lockdown. I hope you guys aren't too frustrated and find nice constructive things to do. And you don't, you're not irritating your wives, you're actually doing some really nice things to make them very happy with you. And uh, all the best till the next video. Thanks.